Hey guys, what's going on? Shabby Do here to bring you another Genshin Impact video, and today we are going to go through the story quest line, Troublesome Work, and we are going to help that sweet, sweet Lisa. Alright, let's go. Oh, I've, I've never even been in here. Oh, look at all these books. Oh, something else over here? Library rules? What is this? Please keep quiet. Do not damage books. Return the books. Oh man, those are some harsh rules. Another book. Another book. And we're going to collect tons of books. And of course, we're going to read them all. This place is huge. God damn, Lisa. Chill. Yeah. Ella Musk. <laughs> Just these. Wow, there are so many books in here. That, all of them downstairs? Nope, that's this one. I saw one on the table again. Now the other half upstairs. So many books. There's one behind her. Oh. <sighs> if you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Give you a strong cup of shabby do. Clearly, you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean. Who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? We're here to see you. Oh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section. Which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things? Or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? Give me goosebumps. <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... the souvenir shop. 
It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. You got it. Let me just take this book that I'm not going to return either. All the other ones I just grabbed. Oh, the drunk and the wolf. What is that? Is that for stealing all the books out of the library? Oh, just an entire book series. Okay. Flame. Oh, another book. Man. Oh, it's just the rule book. Alright, let's go. Return some books. How exciting. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Oh, is that how you see it? I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. <laughs> Well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. Choose a gift for Lisa. Bloomers, a ragged old scroll. Oh, let's get the old scroll. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness. This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the Northern Border Wind investigation. What is it doing here? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. The library book you borrowed? Oh, goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> Here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. I'm going to get her gifts at every stall. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Uh, three. Paimon's here as well. My apologies. Please sit wherever you like. And so we're gonna eat first and bring up the books. And Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating. To work is that bad, huh? <clears throat> she just wants a date with this it cutie. I get it. I get it. The steak. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. <sighs> this seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. You sure? Can't... <sighs> 
good hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Hmm. Finished ordering? Wonder what all the uh, extra things are that you can't that I can't see. Beautifully tender and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's their signature dish. It's a shame I can't have more, but a witch must watch her physique. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <sighs> Okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. It's been getting quite busy recently. Donna. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like, and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? Missed flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. You sure? Yes, we're gonna do it. <laughs> huh? These flowers are saturated with cryo energy. They could be very dangerous for me. Don't you know what happens when cryo meets Electro? Mm -hmm. You certainly have... Meet me at the library after work, and I will give you some oh. training on elemental reactions. If you still find it hard to memorize, Maybe I'll have to give you a little taste of what it feels like to superconduct. Oh, please do. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, Maybe you can do you learn about the laws of motion and friction. Back to business? <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened? Oh, no. What am I going to do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> a while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was good, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna has done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief, and their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Sens <laughs> huh? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Paimon, you're so adorable. Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So what do we do now? The elemental
dental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. Ooh, look at all this iron. Oh. Do, 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 do. I want party. Put Beidou back in for a minute here. Come with me. I see you. I summon thee. Hmm, it's further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Right? Jeez. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell. Take a shortcut here. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. Stealing books is hard. All they would use books for is to keep their campfire going any. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an abyss mage's magic. That's nah, definitely Hilly Churls. How are we definitely. Gonna make it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is
Come on. Whoa, so this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. One. Do, do, yeah, we'll just keep you in. If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. Ah, uh, treasure chest. I bet she's so weak. Easy peasy. Some hard puzzles here. Confused at where my I counter went. No rest for the wicked. Hard challenges. Oopsies. How did you find this place? It's so well hidden. 
I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian, although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Hmm. Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Get my radish. Good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storage book. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This custodian? Is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good. You're amenable to reason, then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Take me with Don't you. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. All right, we got the book. Let's read it. See if there's something in there. Is there a part two? Oh yeah, there is. So, uh, oh, I gotta go back and talk to Lisa. Thousand years of loneliness. The quest reward. Oh, it's still the same thing. All right. So. All right, let's leave the domain. Let's read that book and see if there is something special in there. Maybe there's a riddle, boys. Why am I in a bush? Okay. Let's see. I only have a shit ton of new books in here, so... Hex and Hound. There it is. In the distant past, the Night Mother ruled over the faraway land of night. Here, no light touched the earth, nor did a single tree grow, and there was no life here but the horrendous denizens of the dark. The Night Mother was the source of all sins, and the land of night was the embodiment of her evilness. The cruel Night Mother who had neither heart nor mouth, was always watching over the land of night, and her punishments were always unexpected. The only thing she could not bear was the occasional ray of moonlight that made it through the clouds. 
The light that penetrated the walls of darkness always irritated her. The moonlight forest was the only place free from the rule of Night Mother. Only there could the people bask in the bright moonlight and enjoy the grace that is brought to the living. Everyone in the kingdom of the moonlight forest was born with fair skin, light-colored hair, and bright blue eyes. Perhaps the constant lack of sunlight and the nourishment of the moonlight was the reason for their beauty, giving them an appearance different from the abhorred creatures lurking in the edge of darkness. Huh. All right, well, there's nothing really special in there. I'm pretty sure... Uh, I don't think Lisa had blue eyes, did she? Yeah, she's got green eyes. She doesn't even have light hair. What about Chi-Chi? Nope, pink eyes. Chi-Chi, pink eyes. Me, official, also green eyes and one eye. All right. All right, let's wrap this quest up. You've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. The Tavat Travel Guide. Over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat Travel Guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat travel guy was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs. In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. I wonder if those question marks in the quest would be filled in the higher her companionship <sighs> level was. Wasn't it right there? There it is. Quest complete! Ooh, 28 adventure rank. Awesome. Thousand years of loneliness. Let's see what that book says. There's a white book. Um, there it is. Wow, look at this! No thanks, I'm all set. Ooh, not a bad quest, not a bad quest. And, um, we have a new quest to do next time. Bookworm, Swordsman, Justice, for book's sake. 20,000 more, not, not too terrible of rewards. Oh, perfect. Well, guys, that was Lisa's first quest, The Lost Book. Hope you enjoyed this little, uh, this quest. If if you did, give this a like and hit that subscribe button, just so you can stick around and see some more. We've got some Genshin Impact. I just started a new little, uh, series for Forager. Great little game. We're trying to see if it's worthwhile in 2020. If you like it, check it out. Alright, guys, this has been Shabby Doo. You have a good night.